안녕하세요. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. You love. This is my theme song for my videos, and I hope you like it. Hope you like it a lot. All right, guys. It is happening. I am finally going back to where it all started. Today, I am watching, listening, reacting to the video, No More Dream. Mm, the very first single, very first music video by BTS. So I am super, super excited. This is going to start me on my BTS journey. Now, you guys know if you've been following me, I reacted to a lot of their maybe most famous videos, things like that, and I've definitely come to consider myself ARMY. I really do love BTS. Having said that, I've never reacted to their older videos and I've never actually listened to any of their full albums. So that's my plan here. I'm going to start from the very beginning and watch and listen and react to all the singles one by one and along with that react to the albums. And I'm really hoping that this will take me through their journey and I'll be able to see them grow. And I don't know guys, I'm just really excited. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Also, it's gonna give me a chance to get into the BTS universe so you guys can let me know like maybe when that's going to start or what video or what song really starts off with that um, because I want to be able to follow that timeline as well. Obviously if they put out any new music or any new videos or things like that I'll react to them like in the time that they put them out. I'm not going to like wait until I get there because I, I want to be current on their stuff but this journey is really going to help me and I hope you guys come along for it. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and let's Get into the video. All right, guys, headphones are in. Video's ready. Let's go. If any of you were here from the very beginning, let me know. Drop that in the comments. Wow. RM's glasses just off the top, the graffiti, just the raw, like hip hop, tough look. That is not what I'm used to with BTS. Guys, if you're a fan from the very beginning, what was your thought? What was your response when this new group premiered and this was their video? Were you a fan? Um, or if you were a recent ARMY and you went back, what was your response to this? But that right off the bat, I'm like, what? Um, it's kind of cool though. Dang, Jin, come on. He needs, he needs to get his license or something. He's not that good of a This is Ben Kid Exclusive! <laughs> and the coolest kid in the world! Woo! Coolest BTS. kids in the world. I rap monster. Oh, that was Jimin? No way! I thought that was Sugar for a second. I love this like roster introduction. It's like they're about to play a basketball game or something and the starters are coming out and they're announcing them. Guys, the looks on their faces, it's like, yeah, we're so tough. Like, this is, uh, this is funny, this is cool. Lesson number one, don't let Jin drive you anywhere. All right, no more dream. Love that stand up bass sound. This is so different, guys. Okay, you saw my face on that, like, I thought that was Jungkook 
rapping? Was that Jungkook rapping? Does he rap? I didn't know that. Maybe I'm totally off. Some of them, like their hairstyle and the age, because this is so long ago, is kind of throw me off. So in the smaller clips, I'm not sure. Oh, was that was that this one or was that that one? But guys, visually, this is so different. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Mic Drop, but all they're wearing is like black and white and they're projecting like this really tough image. The closed captions aren't in English, so I'm gonna have to figure out what they're saying later. So far it's more raw, more rap, more tough, and there's not, there hasn't been any like singing yet. So I'm interested in seeing what that sounds like way back then. I gotta say, like, Suga and um, J-Hope right now are so in their element. Like, they sound really good and they sound very natural. Um, some of the rest of them, like, when you see Jin and he's doing this, like, you know, projecting this tough, like, hip-hop image, it just doesn't seem like him. Like, it seems a little forced. I wonder if people would tell that. Or maybe I'm imagining it because when I think of these guys, I don't think of them as hip-hop, like, the vocal line. So it's uh, different to see him this way. Why is he the only one showing off his ass? I do love that bass though, that stand up bass sound. Super good. Interesting. Oh my gosh, guys. First reaction, so different. Just so different from what I'm used to. I couldn't read it in English as far as the caption, so I'm not sure what they're talking about, so I'm gonna go back and read the lyrics. The vocal line definitely was not utilized in this song to their potential. Now, Suga and J-Hope, um, they shine in this song to me, but visually the whole kind of like, I'm a tough, rebellious, cool kid, um, that's not a vibe that appeals to me. Maybe it would have appealed to me when I was like, 13 or 14, I don't know. You guys know, like I'm saying this in love, I am ARMY, I do love BTS, but just seeing this as their debut song, I'm very glad that they are not in that space anymore. I'm gonna go back, listen to it one or two more times and really get into the lyrics, see if it changes my mind, and I'll be back with my final thoughts. All right guys, I am back with my final thoughts. Final thoughts. Honestly, guys, going back and reading these lyrics um, changed my mind a little bit about the song. The visual and the sound and the look of the song 
are different in my opinion than the message of the song. Like the message of the song is kind of like don't suppress yourself, right? Don't suppress your dreams. Don't like sell yourself short. Like what's your dream? And then they're talking about maybe some things that they want and RM is like, what's your dream? Is your dream just that? That's it. Like so it's almost like motivating younger people to like dream big and go after their dreams. And that's actually kind of cool. Like that's a really good message. It brings it up a little bit because if I saw that, I would say, okay, maybe I'm not a big fan of the imagery or or whatever, but I like this group's message. So I'll probably like give them another chance. See, see what their next song is about. Or maybe I'll take a listen to their album. I've listened to so many mind-blowingly amazing BTS songs that it's hard for me to rate this one very high. I'm gonna give it a neutral rating. I definitely didn't dislike it or anything, but it's not a song I don't think I'd listen to again. But it was really cool to see them younger and seeing where they are now. I know this journey is going to be crazy. Drop in the comments, what did you think when you first saw No More Dream, either when they first debuted or when you went back? Let me know. I'd love to know your thoughts on BTS's debut in your eyes. Again, I feel like I have to say this because a lot of people take things the wrong way. I love BTS, okay? So any criticism, any kind of stuff like that, like it's just my opinion, guys. Like it's not gonna change the fact that I really like them, but their older stuff just might not appeal to me as much. So. Hopefully you guys can understand that. As always, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.